So after Avengers huge success in 2012, it was very clear the next big fad was going to be the shared universe. Listen, every franchise out there wanted the shared universe itself, and we knew this was going to come, they all wanted that money. Of course, the biggest competitor that would step forward was of course Marvel's biggest rival with DC Comics. Now of course, their introduction was going to start with Man of Steel, and that was going to carry over into the future of, well, I guess everything in that universe. And a few years later, we're left with most people, I would say, pretty disappointed with what they've got. Not to mention that the big team-up that was supposed to rival the Avengers being Justice League was the lowest grossing one of the entire series. So things aren't looking necessarily good for the competition, while Marvel somehow continues to still deliver, you know, home run after home run depending on who you ask. Certainly when it comes to the critic consensus, they're definitely the one that's the most favorable. As many of you know, I myself have plenty of problems with the MCU, but that's its own topic that I don't need to go in here. And recently, the Russo brothers have been talking about some of the ideas and things that they've been doing with, you know, their shared universe and how they came up with it. And specifically, when they were asked about, you know, the other shared universes out there that try to copy them, and if other studios should follow, they had a very quick reply. Specifically, Joe Russo, he said, yeah, don't do it. And when they asked what advice he would have for particular other studios, he said, not everything can be sustained through a cinematic universe. And you know, so he's pretty much just saying, look, DC, you've tried. You can't do this, so don't bother. And you have to kind of look at what he's saying and go, is he right? and can they do this and i think the answer many of us are gonna say is no and you know that's particularly hard because i, I want to see dc succeed and i really want a competitor that is worthy of challenging marvel and then making everybody step up their game but many will argue that the marvel side of it is winning and when it comes to the dc universe side i know many people including myself are going to tell you the tv side is doing it better because that's being handled by DC Comics. Warner Brothers is the problem when it comes to DC, and they don't let them do what they want, and they're constantly ripping people out of there and, you know, letting the bigwigs that don't even care about the comics handle their properties. So that's why it's not keeping up, and his advice of just don't do it might be justified for this right now. You know, it's like, what, what are you going to do? If your overlords are telling you not to do it, you can't do it, so don't bother doing it because you're going to fall short which I think we've seen. 